Hey everyone, this is Becky Danzenbaker and I wanted to show you really quickly an editing tip um, for making white rooms white. Um, so I am photographing this couple and their baby in my white studio bedroom and they're standing by the window. So this is exposed for their skin, but since they're really close to the light source, which is the window, it makes my white bedroom look really dark and dingy. So you can see over here the photos to the left where I've already edited to make the room nice and bright and white. And for example, this is the photo that I just finished up. This is the before and here is the after. So I'm working on the second image of them looking down at their baby and um, this is the before and I've already edited the photo to this point so you'll see like skin smoothing and I got rid of some flyaway hairs and so the next step for me is to brighten up the room so I'm in Photoshop and I'll show you how I do that pretty quickly um, I only use one tool and that's the curves tool so I'm going to add the curves layer which popped up here and I'm going to pull it up and I always use this little hand um, and I click on what I want to make brighter and it's going to get crazy here but I'm going to drag that up to get my backdrop nice and white and of course that's going to blow out the rest of the picture but that's okay because what I'm going to do is then use the mask that was already created, select a brush, change my blush, brush to black so that I can mask it away and get rid of the extra exposure that was added to my people. And now they're gonna seem pretty dark, so I will go back in later and I will brighten up their skin and add a little contrast using this same exact tool. And I do wanna bring back in a little bit of the texture in the curtain they're standing beside. So I'm also gonna paint this on here. And then what I usually do is I turn the mask on and off just to make sure that I didn't leave anything over top of where I don't want it. So I'm going to erase it from his hair and her hair as well because I do like to keep dark hair dark. Oops, I went a little too far. And I'm using a smaller brush for this so that I don't get any of the feathering into the backdrop so it doesn't have like a halo, like a dark halo around their skin. And you know it's okay if his skin is brightened up here a little bit. So I will go ahead and add a little bit in there. Um, so that looks good. So now this, the room is much brighter and I'm just going to add one more and this one I'm going to use on their skin. So I'm going to brighten up their skin tones here. I'm going to darken her hair back up, so this adds a lot of contrast. And that's that. So now my image is looking good, and I'll have put a few final touches on it, but I just wanted to show that really quick tip. And I can take this away and show you where we started and where we ended up. Thanks, bye.